big glasses and big boozy beers. What more could you ask for? And pineapples and crazy can designs because it's from Flying Monkeys. Let's do this, guys. Always a fun time at Flying Monkeys. Beer, 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 beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Maple Ruski, from the Rushi Ruski Review. And today, the beer that I have for you guys is, like I said, by the Flying Monkeys Brewing Company out in Barrie, Ontario. Sorry, they're craft brewery. My apologies. This is their pineapple double IPA called Grand Terrestrial Rhapsody. Holy shit. Like I said, yeah, it's a pineapple double IPA coming in at a whopping 8.1% alcohols by volume. No listed IBUs on the very outrageous looking can, but at the same time, a lot more thought out outrageous looking can. Not as crazy as other ones, a little easier to read, which I really do appreciate because some of their cans, they're, they're, they're wild and they're out there and that's all fine and dandy, but when it comes to reading information on them, it can be a little bit of a bitch. This definitely fixes that issue. Pretty excited about this one, but yeah. Grand Terrestrial Rhapsody, 8.1% ABV. Listed IBUs, not on the uh, can itself, but on the website, only 40 IBUs. So not too hectic on that side of things. Let's crack this bad boy open. Let's see what we got. This is a new offering from them, if I'm not mistaken. Haven't seen it before uh, since since I saw it well yesterday. And well, let's pour it up. I haven't brought out this uh, big 20 ounce flying monkeys pint glass uh, uh, in a while, so good to get it. Uh, good, good to get some use out of it. That's big and boozy, so I'm not gonna pour too too much, but yeah. Pretty close to about half a half a can. They're looking at the beer, nice golden yellow in color. Not overly hazy, to be honest. Nice uh, white head on top. A little bit of off white head on top. Looking pretty good. Let's dive in on the nose. On the nose, your typical grapefruit and pine, 100%. A little bit of like a lemony kick on the back end, I want to say. Bits of pineapple, not as much of a huge intensity on the nose. Just enough to uh, to let you know it, it's there, but it's not blatantly obvious. I want to say. Other back end notes, more of like an orange uh, citrus rind, lemons. A little bit of like a uh, passion fruit. Bits of mango, I want to say too. Yeah, fairly tropically. Pineapple, pineapple, and citrus definitely the two dominant uh, aromas on this. Let's dive in. On the sip, on the sip, definitely pineapple forward, uh, fresh pineapple juice all up in your face, moving into then, you know, your piney, your grapefruitiness, citrus rind, citrus zest, a little bit of orange going on in there. Pretty good thus far, but yeah, pineapple is fresh, not overly in your face, which I don't mind actually, it's just enough to let you know it's there. Um, but without, without being either too muted or too, uh, just, hey, I'm pineapple, I'm gonna punch you in the face with pineapple flavors. So, pretty cool stuff there. With that said, guys, cheers everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Yeah. Solid pineapple notes, pines, grapefruits, um, citrus, a little, little, little zest, little rind as well. But there is a flavor in there that is making it just a little, a little bit of an odder transition between the the the, the citrusiness, the pineappleiness, and the pineiness of it. There is something going on in here that doesn't seem to be welcome to the party per se. Not really like an off flavor or a fault. Just a weird note. Comes on a little sweet and then a little off bitter. Uh, per se not really sure what it is Because it's, it's not citrus It's not mango or passion fruit. There's a little bit of passion fruit fruitiness going on in here I want to say but hmm, there's something in here right in the front. It's just very sweet and then bitter Yeah, I have no idea what that is Sits a little funny in the mix. Um, it seems like it's, it's trying to be a part of the party, but doesn't really fit in 
a hundred percent well. Kind of like an uninvited guest, but without being, you know, a terrible uninvited guest per se. Let's see what the can has to say. Maybe we can find some answers. Fly Monkey Craft Brewery Grand Terrestrial Rap City Boom Pineapple Double IPA. Like I said, 8.1% ABV, 40 IBUs. On here, let's start with the uh, description. Here we go. Insightfully hopped and illuminated with rapturous pineapple, revel in gummy double IPA ecstasy. Dig Nelson Savant, a hop, not a dude, with a muscat grape notes. Maybe that's it. My muscat grape notes, okay. And a bohemian attitude. Infused with tropical flavors of galaxy, another hop friend with a cool name, and earthy layers of grapefruit, bright Idaho 7, bright Idaho 7, the enlightened no. Where the where where there are hops, there is love. Damn straight. Hops are amazing, guys. If you ever get your hands on some, rub them together in your hand, really get a good indication of like what, what kind of aromas are, are busting out of them, because wild. Wild things when you do a hop rub. Um, I wouldn't say eat them though. They are more like just real super bitter, super bitter in your face. Uh, not the most pleasant thing to, to munch on, but I guess you kind of could. Ingredients: We have water, malted barley, hops, wheat, yeast, natural pineapple flavor, and natural pineapple puree. Contains barley and wheat. Uh, Flying Monkeys Craft Brewery. I always love how they do the address. 107 Dunlop Street, Barrie, Ontario, Canada, Earth, Milky Way, the Universe, Infinity. Solid, solid stuff. I wonder if you, well, obviously, if you put the whole thing, you get to them, but all the extra stuff, I really do appreciate that. Also, Surgeon General warning for my American viewers where you can pick up Flying Monkeys, I suggest you do. Yeah, it's Canadian beer, but it's a hell of a damn good beer, and oh my god, please. Please go support us Canadians. Uh, we wish we could do the same as, as beer is really hard to get. Uh, American beer is really, really hard to get up here, especially from for, for like the 99% of all the breweries. I really wish we had more cross border trade of beer because beer, more beer is just great for everybody. Yeah, not gonna be disappointing in this one here. On the bottom, packaged on date of March 11th, 2021. Today is March 27th, so it's under a month old. It's pretty damn fresh, so pretty good stuff. Over on the website, flyingmonkeys.ca, they've revamped their website. I think I touched that, touched on that whenever I reviewed the uh, the whatever beer I did previously by them. I don't remember. Much look, at, much better looking website. You go to the beers, you will find Grand Terrestrial Rap City. Uh, insightfully hopped and illuminated with rapturous pineapple, revel in tropical, double IPA, ecstasy. Package, uh, uh, um, package availability or, you know, sizes that you can find this in are the 473 ml cans and also 30 liter kegs available at the brewery and LCBO stores. Inside the recipe, 8.1% ABV, 40 IBUs, like I've stated before. And here we also have a detailed list of malts, hops, dry hops, and special additions. The malts that were used were two row pale malt and spelt malt. Hops were Nelson, uh, Nelson Sauvignon, Idaho 7, and didn't they say Galaxy? Yeah. Oh, Galaxy is the uh, the dry hop. My apologies. My apologies. Dry hopping. Uh, dry hopping for anybody that is is unfamiliar is like post boil hops. Well, that you, that you add post boil in the whirlpool or. Uh, during fermentation, somewhere along there, that's what it's called, dry hopping. We have Nelson uh, Savignon, or Savin, so, so, I can't pronounce it, Savin, uh, Idaho 7 and Galaxy for the dry hops, and special editions of pineapple puree. Scrolling down even more, what I really do love about this new revamped website is their taste, style, and serve with notes. Taste notes. Uh, but, 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 but actually, the taste notes is exactly what I read previously here. So we'll move down to the style. Uh, we revel in making seasonal double IPAs featuring artful hopping and creative additions in a fun, bigger profile beers. Grand Terrestrial Rhapsody features the body of a big double IPA made with joyous and soulful with hops, uh, sorry, with tropical pineapple fruit showcasing foggy London yeast and provocative Hops all in a fresh, rapturous haze. Serve with or food pairings. We have 
Pairs well with classic Easter ham, salads, and strawberries, and, crumb and crumbled blue cheese or salty feta. New York cheesecake with caramel drizzle, white chocolate macadamia nut cookies, and dishes with sauces featuring ginger, mango, tamar uh, tamarind, chili peppers, orange, and other tropical fruits. So, seems to be a wide range of things to enjoy this beer with for like your optimal experience, but when you drink beer and you want food, drink whatever you want and eat whatever you want. Who's gonna stop you? If you love it, you enjoy it. Finally moving over to, well not finally, but moving over to Untapped, Grand Terrestrial Rap City has been given a 3.86 bottle caps out of 5, and that's out of 276 ratings. 386 seems a little low in my opinion, but I don't mind it. Don't, 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 don't mind that. Maybe, maybe since, since it is lower ratings rate, or lower number of ratings right now, it will even out and push more of that 4 mark where I really think this beer should be at. Mm-hmm. That's damn good. Speaking of the price, though, it's $3.95 for a 473 ml Tallboy can at your local LCBO. Sub $4 for a, uh, over 8% beer. Yes, it's 0.1, but it's still technically over. Um, being hopped as beautifully as it is, having that pineapple puree shot right into here. Pretty fantastic price. Pretty fantastic price. Yeah, again, pushing that $4 mark, but there's a lot of beers out there that, you know, are at the same stature and uh, and, and pushing way over $4 a can. So, $3.95, sign me up. I'm 100% cool with paying that price. Overall, a pretty fantastic beer. Pineapple is beautifully done in here. Again, little pines, little grapefruitiness notes, orangey citrus, little, little, little zest, little, 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 uh, little rind. Again, that, that weird little flavor, I'm gonna attribute it to the uh, muscat grape from the Galaxy Hops. Um, doesn't really fit in with the rest of the, with, with the, rest of the uh, tropical vibe per se, but it's not, uh, it's, it's not, you know, it's, it's not really gonna make a huge, huge impact on, on, on my enjoyment of this beer or of your enjoyment of the beer. Pretty damn good stuff with that said, guys. Cheers on the final sip. Let's get ready to rings and wrap this thing up. Five Monkeys Grand Terrestrial Rhapsody, a fantastic brew. Here you go, you can check out the can again, guys. Looking fantastic, tasting fantastic. And goddamn, it is at a fantastic price. So with that said, Grand Terrestrial Rap City gets a solid, ooh, a little higher than its ABV. Gets a solid 8.6 out of 10 for me, fantastic. As for presentation, the can design, still ridiculous and wild as in a, you know, traditional flying monkeys fashion. Love that, but it's a lot, lot, a hell of a lot easier to get to read the information. Some people might not like that. I personally love it because it's still incorporated into the design without being too hard or strenuous on the eyes to read. Fantastic. I think this is one of their top can designs uh, as of recent and damn yeah it's it's just wow flying monkeys drugs are are <laughs> drugs are a weird thing aren't they obviously i know that's a joke guys don't get carried away uh anybody who's thinking i'm, I'm being too silly but hey they're, they're flying monkeys no one has wackier can designs than you and uh yeah uh, that's one of the reasons why i love why i love you uh, it's one of the reasons why I picked up Optical Illusions many, many years ago. And, uh, wild stuff. Yeah, can design, great stuff. Uh, tons of information, description, ingredients, ABV. No IBU is not a big deal. Clearly labeled, canned on date on the bottom. But the website is really where everything shines. This new revamped website, fan freak fantastic. Solid information about the beer, uh, ABVs, detailed list of malts, hops, dry hops, special editions. Shows off the kind of yeast that they use as well. Uh, diving into a whole taste description, style description, and food pairings. Fan freaking fantastic. Overall, presentation gets a solid 9.5, and goddamn, go check it out. But before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers on review in the future, you can leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Nate Bruski, I would greatly appreciate it as well. And with all that said, 
That's gonna do it for me, Mick Bruce. Like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. Holy shit, it's another fantastic beer from the guys at Flying Monkeys. And the Flying Monkeys you're watching. Ooh, you make good goddamn beer. Cheers.